Hey guys, welcome back to Forza Horizon 4. So this week we have got new cars as the season has changed to summer and we've got a new month. So if we come over to the festival playlist, we can see that for 50% completion this week we have got the brand new GMC Cyclone from 1991. So this is a sleeper pickup truck with a big V8 in it and all wheel drive. So this is what we'll be unlocking today. We've, this week we've also got the Renault Clio 03. You can put a big V8 in that as well as it's mid-engined. We've also got the Rossion Q1 as well as the Jaguar I-Pace and the Ferrari 488 Pista 19. So we'll be going ahead and getting the GMC Cyclone. Alright guys, so here it is, we've completed 50% of the Summer Championship, we've gotten the GMC Cyclone. So here it is, we've finally got another addition to the GMC car brand in the game, with this 1991 GMC Cyclone. So this car is mid-C class and all-wheel drive. You can see here it's got 209 kilowatts as well as 489 newton meters while weighing just over a ton and a half and it's got a 4.3 litre V8 in it. So now we're going to pull it out and have a look. So this thing is a small four-wheel drive ute or pickup truck. It's only got a short bed as well as a single cab. See there's twin tail pipes there. This thing looks very clean and aggressive. So if we explode the car here don't think we can pop the bonnet up. No, that's not an option, but we can go and get in it. So this car is early 90s, and it wasn't fancy or anything for its time. It was just crazy powerful and all-wheel drive. So if we go ahead and start it up, hopefully Forza has given us another car sound. Doesn't sound like they have. It's a bit of a shame. No, nope. it's got a very low red line. This car looks to be only 5,000 RPM, maybe six. So we'll take this car out onto the road. So here it is in the sunlight. See it out here, so we can rev it here. Doesn't really sound any different to a lot of the other cars in the game. But apparently this car was very quick 0 to 100. So we'll go ahead and launch it right here. We don't get rear-ended by that. And launch it. We've got a tiny little bit of wheel spin. Remembering this car is mid-C class. We're accelerating pretty quickly. It seems to be after about 120, it doesn't go so hard. So if we go into the stats over here in the tuning, we'll see just how quick it is. So it is 4.6 seconds to 100 and it has a top speed of 237 k's an hour. So that's pretty cool. But what I think we're going to do with this car is take it into the festival and fully fit it out for drag racing. So in the festival, before we fit it out for drag racing, we'll check out any unique customizations or upgrades for this car. So we'll start by going into aero and appearance. Doesn't look promising so far, as we've only got this Forza bumper and Forza wing. Bit of a shame. Maybe there'll be a new unique engine swap, but probably not. We've got the 6.2 litre V8, the 8.4 litre V10, the 6.5 litre V12, and the 7.2 litre racing V8. So nothing extreme there, nothing unique. So as this will be a drag car, I think we'll go with the 7.2 litre racing V8. So we'll swap that in as well as going over to the Aspiration and putting on the twin turbos. To come back out of conversions, next we'll come into the tyres and rims and we'll put on some drag tyre compound as well as 
upgrading the front and rear tire widths to be as wide as possible. So now we can probably save a bit of weight with these rims. As cool as they look, we're going to swap out for some lighter rims. We can save 16 kilos there. Come back out of rims. Now we're going to make the spaces wider so it gives the car more stability when we're launching down the drag strip as we've got a pretty powerful engine in this car. So now if we come into drivetrain, we're just going to upgrade everything in here. So race clutch, race transmission, race driveline and race diff. So back out of drivetrain, we'll come into the platform and handling. So we'll do some race brakes as well as rally springs and front race anti-roll bars and same in the rear. Then we'll do a race weight reduction as well. We can save 312 kilos there and that brings the car up into S2 class now. So then finally we come into the engine upgrade. So we'll do a race fuel system, race ignition, race engine block, race twin turbos, race intercooler and then finally a race flywheel. That puts us in the power aspect of 1011 kilowatts as well as 1385 newton meters while weighing just under 1.3 tons. So this car should be pretty fast. So we'll go ahead and apply all of these upgrades. Now that we've upgraded it, we're going to just put on a basic tune. So for the tire pressures, we'll drop these down to 1.4 just in the rear and then in the front, 1.4. Then next we'll come over to gearing. So it looks like we're a bit off the end of the graph here. So we'll just bring it back. So it sits nicely right on the end. So we'll bring it back to 3.15. So then next we'll come over to the alignment and set these front and rear camber angles back to zero degrees. And then the front cast angle, we'll bring that back to four degrees. The next, if we come over to the springs, we can see that the rear is already quite soft, so we'll just stiffen up the front here. So if we bring this up to, I'd say about 70-ish, so we'll go for 70 there. And next is dampening. We can see that we're pretty soft in the rear rebound stiffness as well as the rear bump stiffness. So we'll just bring up the front for the rebound we'll bring that up to 5.5 and for the front bump stiffness we'll bring this up to about 4.7 just like that and then finally we'll come over to the differential so here we want to change our front acceleration up to 85 percent and for the rear we'll bring this up to 95 percent as well as bringing the center balance up to 75 percent so we'll try out this tune for drag racing and we'll get right into it. So now we're gonna bring this over to the drag strip. It already seems pretty quick, but we'll leave it a surprise for when we go and launch it over here and get taken out by the track tour. So if we bring it up to the line over here, there we go, lined up. So I'd say we'll probably have to launch it from about 5,000 RPM. So if we drop it there, a little bit of wheel spin, but we are launching hard. The gears could be tuned better so that we could stay in fourth, but we got a speed of 286. So now we're going to throw it into the festival drag strip race so we can see how it compares to other cars at its level as well as get a time for it. So we'll see how it does against this Veyron that's next to us. And as we can see, we just pulled away from the Veyron. Quite funny, you're in your pickup truck and you've just gapped your Veyron. So we've finished just there, first place with ease and we got a time of 8.27 seconds. So this has been a review of the 1991 GMC Cyclone as well as a drag build and tune. So next week we'll be covering the next car, so subscribe for that. Or if you liked or enjoyed this video, you can smash that like button as well.